His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued today Edict Number 60 for this year, approving review reports and decisions of institutional listings issued by the National Authority for Qualifications and Quality Assurance of Education and Training. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qudaybiya Palace today the Philippines President's Special Envoy to the GCC countries, Dr. Amabile Guiles. The meeting discussed joint cooperation between the two countries and ways of enhancing them in all fields. The Prime Minister commended the positive relations between the two countries, highlighting the shared understanding and co coordination regarding several regional and international issues. He expressed keenness to further reinforce bilateral relations, stressing Bahrain's appreciation of the tremendous efforts of the Filipino community in supporting the pillars of development of the kingdom. Dr. Aguiles conveyed to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the greetings of the Philippines President Benigno Aquino III and his wishes for Bahrain of further, further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also asked the Special Envoy to convey his greetings to his President and wished the people of the Philippines continued progress and prosperity. For his part, Dr. Aguiles praised the Prime Minister's interest in reinforcing joint cooperation stressing his country's care to further enhance relations with Bahrain to meet the aspirations of both countries' people. He commended Bahrain's care to the Filipino community provided by the government and officials. Speaker of the Representatives Council chaired today the weekly meeting in which they approved the amended report of the Shura Council regarding public debt. The Council approved their suggestion regarding providing the suitable housing services to people with special needs and also approved the suggestion regarding the government's providing of all requirements needed to maintain a Ali pottery factory. The Council also discussed and agreed on a suggestion regarding building mosques in Bahir, Jafir and Amwaj. The meeting then approved a report by Foreign Affairs Defense and National Security Committee regarding opening an office for vehicle inspection in Muharraq. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated today in the 137th session of the GCC Ministerial Council held in the Saudi capital of Riyadh. Secretary General of the GCC, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, delivered a statement in which he expressed the condemnation of GCC ministers regarding the terrorist ISIL attacks in France, which caused the death and injury of innocent people. Foreign ministers affirmed their supportive stance to France in all efforts that aim to combat terrorism. The Secretary General also highlighted the minister's keenness to enhance GCC joint cooperation in various fields. Foreign ministers also held a meeting with the chairman of the GCC advisory board, Mbarak El Khattar, to discuss a number of topics related to the previous session. Bahrain's long-standing history of religious tolerance was the focus of a conference which closed today at the Aisa Cultural Center. The two-day religious tolerance conference forum was held under the auspices of ICC Board of Trustees Chairman Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa. Representatives of religious and sects in Bahrain attended the event in the presence of members of the diplomatic corps, media and academic figures and leading community personalities. ICC Board of Trustees Vice Chairman, Executive Director and Deputy 
Deputy Patron Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa, Al Khalifa underlined Bahrain's long-standing reputation as a beacon of religious tolerance, communal cohesion, and peaceful coexistence between all sects and social segments. He paid a tribute to His Majesty the King in advocating unity in diversity and cultivating the spirit of closely knit family. The Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Associations held a press conference yesterday evening to announce organizing a This is Bahrain exhibition on the 11th of next month to celebrate the Kingdom's National Day. The event aims to celebrate Bahrain's success of spreading the spirit of tolerance and supporting coexistence of the society more in this report. This is Bahrain exhibition to promote cultural diversity and showcase Bahrain's religious tolerance will now be held in the kingdom on December 11th at the National Stadium Car Park. Organized by Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Associations, This is Bahrain will feature exhibition stands for embassies, schools, clubs, associations, societies and religious organizations. We've been going around the world showcasing uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain at our international events called This is Bahrain. And we thought that everything that we've been showcasing about the Kingdom of Bahrain abroad, we want to now showcase it right here at home in Bahrain. And what better time to, than to celebrate National Day. So on the 11th of December at the National, car park, uh, National Stadium Car Park in Rafah, we'll be holding This is Bahrain in Bahrain for the first time ever and we're inviting everyone to join us. The event is set to include live entertainment throughout the day provided by school children of all nationalities who perform dances and songs that represent their culture. In this time of turmoil around the world, the unity, the harmony, the peaceful coexistence and the tolerance that we have had in Bahrain for centuries continues with today's generation. Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Associations aims and objectives are promoting tolerance, mutual respect, harmony and unity between Bahrainis and expatriates. This is Bahrain event will bring Bahrainis and expatriates together to share their love for Bahrain, their leaderships and each other and to celebrate the success of the multicultural society where they all live together as one family. Good evening and welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. A report released by the National Bank of Kuwait today states that the Kingdom of Bahrain economic growth and real GDP is expected to slow at the end of the year to 2% from 4.5% year on year, while the oil sector growth is expected to slow down along with the non-oil sector, but only modestly during the same period thanks to strong fiscal spending and GCC funds targeted at housing and infrastructure developments. The kingdom is expected to receive a healthy boost in investment from the GCC, which has vowed to deliver funds amounting to about 10 billion U.S. dollars spread over 10 years to support Bahrain's economy. According to the country's Economic Development Board, EDB, the country is expected to invest over 20 billion U.S. dollars in industrial and infrastructure projects over the coming years. The Kingdom's Minister for Industry and Commerce, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, said today that Bahrain is planning for more subsidy cuts and intends to impose charges for government services next year in order to boost revenues hit by the decline of oil prices. He said that the Kingdom is looking at boosting revenues by imposing charges on government services that are currently free or carry minimal fees. Last month, Bahrain more than doubled prices of beef and chicken as it removed meat subsidies. The government raised the price of natural gas sold to the industry. The Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,220.21 points, an increase of 1.35 points above yesterday's closing. The fall was in the rise in the commercial banks and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks, representing 87% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 67 equity transactions took place with a volume of 3,634,522 shares worth the value of 272,205 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 